Okay, part two. Um, just real quick, you can see maybe I've stuffed it with uh, steel wool uh, above these three inlets here, uh, starting at where the bolts are and tucked in around it. I used coarse steel wool first, you can kind of see there, and then I used just medium on top. I may still put fine in there, I don't know. Um, it doesn't really seem to be a restriction. I mean, blowing through the the uh, opening and through uh, all of the steel wall doesn't doesn't seem to slow down the the airflow that much. So that's good. And uh, I also went ahead and put the uh, drain and everything on it. This is just a cheap um, drain from Lowe's. You'd use like on the bottom of your compressor. You just twist it to open it. Hopefully it's good enough. If not, I can always put a ball valve in there for a little bit of extra flow. But uh don't know how long the hose needs to be yet. I just cut that length. So it'll hang underneath the fender, and uh, this will drain down to the bottom of the bumper area, and uh, I should just be able to open it up and drain all the nasty stuff out. But that, uh, that is that. As far as the steel wool that I used, uh, this was also just... I mean, this was a $20 trip to Lowe's where I got everything. Um, it's just some of this stuff, three grades, and I may still use fine in the bottom, but, but um, you know, that's the course. So, mostly that. Hopefully it works good. We'll find out, though. So, anyway, thanks.